is my struggle. But I won't trust myself. Oh, you just oh, slid my leg! Did you? Ziva! So rude! Whatever you think. Are we good? Yeah. Alright, this okay. is so weird. I feel awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi. Hello. So, so I have Gabby with me today. Uh, if you guys don't know Gabby, I was just gonna swear, and I can't. You can't do that in like the you first, can. the beginning of the like. I'll like <laughs> bleep it, and then I won't bleep it because I'm an idiot. I always Good forget. For me to so Gabby is a makeup artist. Do you go by like you go by makeup artist because you're like a makeup artist first, and like you do some influencing. Yes. Okay. Hundred percent. All right. So she's like dabbles in like influencing. Dabbles but in it she's all. She's like a legit artist. Okay. Can we tease it now? Tease it. She's. Thinking about starting a YouTube channel. No, I, I want that for myself. <laughs> I am technologically challenged. It's it's difficult. It's tough. But we're gonna work on it. Gonna so this is the tease. Okay. Yes. Basically, she's gonna be doing my makeup today. 100 percent And I told her, fresh canvas, like whatever. Now nah, I think we can swear now. Whatever the fuck you wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> but we are gonna show you guys like a cool toned and warm toned look. So it's literally how you can combine cool tones and warm tones into one look. Now, when you say that, I'm gonna be asking you so many questions while you're doing this, Damn like it. seriously. Um, when you say that, do you mean like face, eyes, like eyes will be warm, face is cool, or like com like combo situation? I'm talking, yes, mostly Everything just talking combo. about the eyes. Okay, gotcha. Yes, gotcha. but like obviously the face will also have an incorporation of cool and warm as well. Dope. So. Okay, we're gonna do it. Let's get started. I'm excited for this. I never get my makeup done. I I've literally had my makeup done twice. I feel very No, honored. three times, no. Oryx knew, I don't know how to do this. If you put it like close to the thing, then it'll focus on that. Yeah, okay. there you go. So we're using new Oryx Morganite. They release a newer, lighter shade. And I'm just gonna kind of go starting at the high points of your face, but then working it to like the sides of the face because we're really gonna use like a really translucent base for you today. Like, like the smallest amount of coverage. And you just need a sheer amount of this to kind of even things out, but also just obviously amp up the glow. So are you using this as like my as like my base? Pretty much. This is like my first step to the base to like really see what I actually have to do. Mm -hmm. I see. I know what you guys like as professional makeup artists have to deal with on set. So <laughs> I want to make things easy, but you I just, know that you, you guys just have like... to know I can do it in any <laughs> condition, anything. How dare you? I think I would. I think that's my problem. <laughs> I'd be like, bitch, get out of my way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna prep your lips with the Ciate London Mango and Lime. Focus. <laughs> mango and Lime Burst Nourishing Lip Oil. I really cool. like this, just as like a nice light lip oil for prepping. Your nails look dope. <laughs> yes. They look good for camera, that's nice. <laughs> and then I'm gonna prime your lids with the Urban Decay. I find that most of the time I get lip balms that are jars mm -hmm. and I don't like it because it's just not sanitary. Yeah. Um, I mean, it obviously can make it sanitary, but it's much easier to just have a tube. So, mm -hmm. and then I like this eye primer cause again, it's like sheer. So I have all the freedom to do whatever I want. Um, I'm about to show Alex a product that I've been talking to her about that I think that she just needs. This is the Pacifica Dreamlit under eye brighter. Okay, so, so incredible. First off, first off, you have like this peachy tone, mm. which is really corrective, but it's sheer. So look up at me. It's just going to neutralize that kind of bluing that she has right here, but it's still going to look exactly like her skin because it's really honestly kind of like a high, like a hybrid eye cream mixed mm. with a little bit of this like peachy pigment. That's everything? Everything fits in here. Holy shit. Yeah. Man. I have I have Danessa, I have nude sticks. Wow. Can I, I just have, show that? Yeah. She just said her complex all of her complexion stuff. I mean I just saw this palette, which is that's obviously like, milk, yeah. That's the milk helpful. flex stick. That's so, so I crazy. all of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this right here is the Danessa Vision Cream Cover. It's one of my favorites because it's very, very flexible. Mm. I like to start in the center of the face because that's typically where I'm gonna want coverage anyways. Well, hairs like to come and play with us. It's been happening with my like NARS brush recently. Yeah, the key gold with me and Alex's skin today is keeping it like basically untraceable. 
that you don't even see anything on there. But I still want it perfected, obviously, because we are going to be doing more of a dramatic eye look. Yay. Do you use sponges? I never Much? use sponges. Really? Just brushes? Yeah. Mm. I've never been a sponge girl. I, I mean, I think when I started, for sure, but... On yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, interesting. It's also, I feel like, easier when you're, like, working on someone else. It's Because you can, like, hold your hand back more. You exactly. can see what you're doing. Yeah. And, like, I'm just a brush fiend. Like, I've yeah. been a painter mm. before, before I was a makeup artist. It's just natural. Fucking all of us, bro. We're, we're the best. We're <laughs> artists, bro. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't go to school. I didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. Dope. I love it. But I did work for MAG for... Did you? Oh, yeah. I worked for MAG in college. I worked it's with so them funny. for a second. I tried to, so I did that in the South before I moved here. Yeah. And then I tried to do it while I was out here. And they were like, well, we'll only give you like 10 hours to start. Mm. Like, I'm moving my entire life across the country. I kind of need a full time. Yeah, 10 is not going to do anything. Full time gig. So, so that funny. was my end of my relationship with them. <laughs> Bye. The end of our relationship with Mac. Yeah, you know, I mean, they were the shit for a very long time. They really were. They still, you know, they're kicking. I still like them, but I feel like they didn't really like work with influencers for a really long time, and then they started to fall off. They're doing things like the way that they think makeup should be done instead of following like what's their consumer. On. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like okay. Well. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. No, I mean you see girls out here putting literal Con red <laughs> eyeshadow yeah. under their eyes to have what you have. So it's so funny, isn't it? When I started seeing that on TikTok, I was like, I, I know. have seen everything at this I point. Know. It's like, I wish I could have seen this when I was like 12 years old. Right. It would like, have felt oh, a lot better. Yay. I'm like, if you see any white shit in my ears, it's sunscreen. Just letting you know. <laughs> you got to put it everywhere. Yes, you do. While the base is really fresh, it's just go in and set the under eyes. So I Bi always Terry. use. Just gonna I pop always off use by Terry. Yep. Okay, this is interesting because I tried this and I didn't like it. You didn't like I it. I didn't. Tell so me. I'm gonna be. Well, I just thought it was really drying. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the worst. And I got least. it because people were like, it's so like hydrating. Right. So I don't okay, know. Okay, well, if this goes wrong, we'll you see. guys know. <laughs> but it is the only thing I set under eyes with. I really? don't usually set the whole face, but because it's so fine, yeah. I do set the under eyes with it. As well, like it's damp under the eye. I like to set it because mm -hmm. this pretty much will prevent. Creasing. So is it is it because this one is so fine that you like using it for like shoots and stuff? Yes. Okay, gotcha. I literally just only trust this under the eyes yeah. with what's left on my brush just to kind of set the crease of that eye primer. So the whole thing with this brand is that it's all these little individual Ooh. lips, cheeks, eyes, everything in these mm. compacts and they are. Oh, it used to be another name. <gasps> it might be the same thing. First off, they make the best contour colors that I've ever That's seen. why I got it, because people were saying the contour colors the were so contour, good. Yeah, but people really shit on it because it's an MLM. Uh, that's so what it was. Yeah. I'm like, you can shit on them. I'm going to use it. And I just love it because it's so skin-like mm. and glass-like, but it's not sticky. Oh, mm. It's just, wow. Mm -hmm. That so, looks really nice. Yeah, so it just melts right into the skin. Same with all of their stuff. This is her contour shade. I just have it melted on the back of my hand because I really like to kind of work with a warm surface with this kind of stuff. It's very stiff. And I'm using a Smith 104. Dude, I gotta get all these fucking brushes. They're, I love them. They're legit. And this will like really give me a precise contour, but then also really blend it out for me. Yeah, I was gonna say the angle and the size, but also like the length of the bristles. And how flexible it is yeah. and like fluffy. See, when I got my makeup done, I was in a, a campaign for... Okay. And when she did my makeup, she I remember being really stressed that she wasn't going to contour my jawline, and she didn't. And I was like... Oh, I what are you doing? I can't, I can't go on. <laughs> like, oh, I'm I actually... Really, I have to go home? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I don't Could think... you imagine? I'm sorry. It was, you no. got to make this shit look sharp, man. Make it look sharp, but then also, like, your neck needs makeup, okay? Yeah. Like, it looks weird if you don't. I never do makeup on top of SPF. To be able to, like, wear sunscreen, not have it, like, manipulate my makeup as your much. Product, right? But like the sunscreen, especially during the day, is like so fucking important. I know. So yeah. I mean, I use it on myself all the time and then whatever base product I use is what usually works, but I haven't used powder. this. Ooh. Really velvety. 
And I'm just going to set the T-zone. I'm pretty much done with the face for now until after eyes. I kind of work all over. Would you have had your brows on by this point already? Mm -mm. Okay. I do them last. Okay, yeah. I do them after makeup. After eye makeup. It's interesting to see how, um, like, in what order you do things. I like the creams to really sink into yeah. the skin. And then perfect after the eyes to see what else needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Do you always pretty much, like, follow the same, like, um... Holy shit, I just lost the word. What's the word? Routine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Um, just depends on yeah. people. This is kind of the way that I like to like do generally. it. generally. Yeah, like it just gives me the most artistic rain. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to move on to eyes. I mixed these two paints from About Face. Whoop. They are Smell Before Rain and then Hidden Garden. So... It's giving me this really light taupe with a bit of this like gray green to it. Mm. I will have you turn towards me. And I'm just going to start placing it, especially on the inner part of the lid. But it's also a waterproof base because I'm going to put something else on top that's a secret. And I'm just kind of fading this into your outer third because it's going to get pretty much covered up with other makeup. So Your YouTube channel is going to be so good. Because you're so good at like explaining it, you know? Well, like why you're doing things and everything. I've always wanted to be an educator. Mm, like that's, that's like literally what my plan was before. Yeah. Yeah. Before I knew I was like interested in makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I really think it's so important to mm -hmm. have someone who like really can speak on something mm -hmm. and then not only that, but be concise in a mm -hmm. way that like grabs yeah. your attention. So. And like it's easy to understand. Right. Right. And I think, yeah, you, anyone can know it, mm -hmm. but it's really a much harder thing to like talk about it. So. I'm gonna throw a little what's under, what's left on my brush under your eyes. So just look up for me. What powder do you like under the eye? I like it because it's, I use the, the really light one. And yeah. so it's like extra brightening. Oh, Cause nice. Cause I like, I'm always just trying to like layer light amounts to like cover up my dark circle. Yes. <laughs> Linda Halberg. Linda. Love it. We love a Linda. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the brown core pencil. See, now you know why all these fucking YouTubers are always putting their hands behind I do things. it all the time. It's like, for real. <laughs> um, so it's just the brown core pencil from Linda. And I'm going to just start sketching this at her lash line on the outer corner. This is going to set the base for the rest of the look. It's got like a nice milk chocolate to it. Mm. Sometimes we'll just want to do their own base or mm. be very, very skeptical. <laughs> that you'll like know how to do their... And they end up very pleased, thankfully, with the result. Look up for me. Ooh. Um, so this is a beautiful palette from a Swedish brand called Odin's Eye. This is their Red Dragon palette. And they have very cool. so many cool shades. So we're going to kind of mix in... I don't know what directions I'm in. <laughs> Some of this... <laughs> Some of these warm reds, they're kind of like bricky reds. And we're building this part up. This is gonna kind of take over a lot of the eye, especially the outer corner. Like thankfully I have someone coming over tomorrow who is um, super chill and- Like a friend. A friend, yeah. like we've worked together on a couple things. So she's like, oh, I love your stuff. Like I don't care. Good you for know? her. I man. know. I love watching that. I love working with models who are just on the come up. Yeah. And then you see them really out here doing like the most. And that's just Yeah, really she's cool. done like so many really cool camp. And she was so sweet, like so nice too. Oh my god. I had one that um was not down for it. But we'll talk about that off camera. <laughs> well, I've definitely had that too. <laughs> Especially just starting out. I was like coming in with all these ideas and mm -hmm. people are like, no, I don't wanna do your <laughs> shit because I don't even know you. I like Never, I always assumed that like the models were just like, like you can just do whatever to their faces because like you're the model. They like, should. yeah, you're just, like, you're just like the canvas. That's that is like a prime model, you know, aspect, right? We're going for editorial. How's she gonna feel? And she was like lit up about <laughs> all of it. She was that's like, good. go hard. And I did this really crazy last look on her, and she's like, I'm wearing this to dinner. And I'm like, that's <laughs> Pretty much always use glow lust too. Yeah. Which works so emolliently. Okay, so now I'm going to use this palette from a brand called Sephora's Art. 
Oh, I love the palette. It's a Lamona palette, and they're oh. all, like, artist-inspired, super cool. And I'm going to use that, like, mid-tone brown right here. Kind of the biggest thing when you're working with cool tones and warm tones is to kind of throw in a little bit of some neutrals that are just, like, neither here nor there. I'm trying to think of what we should title this video. I, I am automatically just think of something foul, but... Foul? <laughs> like what? Two bitches do <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't even... 20 minutes? Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. That's like how long it takes me for like no makeup makeup. Right. Honestly, 30 minutes for like no makeup makeup. Yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes doesn't exist. You're a psycho. You think That's just me that. applying sunscreen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so this is where we're going to add something kind of unexpected. A deep blue that's in this palette. But first, oh. but first we're going to use a pencil. <laughs> if you'd like. This is one of my favorite pencil formulas. It's from Milani. And Milani's legit, man. So fire. This You want to definitely start with a little bit of a base. You can look yeah. down. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to put this right at the outer corner. Like literally right at the outer corner. It stops every 30 minutes. Oh, because of battery? Um, it just like can only do those increments, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. My old, that's actually a good thing to know. My old camera, oh, you'll have to find out when you like start filming with yours. Mm -hmm. My old camera would only film for 10 minutes oh, at a time. Oh, wow. Which is really like, yeah. I wonder if like sheet masks are a good thing to keep in the fridge. I do keep them. Do you? Okay. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should probably start doing yeah, 100%. that. 100%. I'm just like not a breakfast girl. Usually. Really? I'm such a breakfast I'm not, person. Which is weird, yeah. That's so funny. It's like my favorite meal of the day. It is my, no, it is my favorite meal, but like I never. You never eat it. Do it for myself. You're a masochist. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to like eat in seven hours and that'll be <laughs> so fine crazy. for me. No, well, I get it because you're a makeup artist and it's always like long hours and like, he'll like come home from work and I'm like, what have you eaten today? He's like, I haven't had anything yet. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Could I, you? Have, to, I have to eat like literally tw every two hours well, or I'm going to really freak out. <laughs> Let's do brows. Yay. Do you like the Patrick Ta Clear Wax? <sighs> I haven't used it. Let's try it out. I've never used it. I love it. Is that the trick? A little water? Mm-hmm. Always back comb and then regular comb. Is this your favorite one? I do really like it, but I made the switch from just soap recently. Yeah. And this has probably been like the thing that makes the best effect. Mm, okay. Versus just bar soap, which yeah, I still I sometimes always, rely yeah. on. So Bar soap is my shit, so. <sighs> Dr. Brown is bar soap. Mm -hmm. all day. It's the best. It's the tits. It's so good. But I was like, okay, let me be a little fancier. <laughs> I have this. I really like it. Yeah, the only problem with the um, Dr. Bronner's bar soap is that, like, I feel like it, if you get it on your foundation, it leaves that, like, white yep. spot mm -hmm. or whatever. A little halo almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you use just a little too much water, it's yeah. like, okay, we're done. So I have this palette from Senna. It's my brow book. And it's just cute. A ton of brow powder. Yes. It's, I'm constantly going through like just different phases of brow. Boo, what are you sniffing? I'm like, everyone's just trying to come out with the craziest brow. How pencil is it weird? Shapes. How is it weird? It's like flat. Okay. And curved. Okay, that's confusing. I like it fluffy. I like it defined. I like just plucked my brows recently too, so they're not even as thick as they usually are. Yeah, sometimes I trim mine. I did that recently. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You know how to do it? Oh, this yeah. was scissors. I'm like scared. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust other people to like shape my brows. I literally went to like Kelly Baker. Like, oh, the really? Kelly Baker salon. I was like, I'm going to someone who like I really trust. This is the new Give, Whoop. Give Beauty quad from Gwen Stefani. And this is the quad called Simple Kind of Life. I'm just going to use kind of a mix these and then just kind of set her lid. We're still using something else here, but I haven't tried these yet, so I'm trying them out. I've been like um, needing new eyeshadow, like really fun eyeshadow palettes recently because like I just feel like I haven't gotten any 
recent, like probably since the Hindash palette where I was like, oh, this is like so much fun, you know? Are you going to get his new one? I think they're sending it. Fuck yeah. But I don't crazy. know. I hope they do. I'm really excited about they it. They should. The colors not. look so sick. Don't they? Yeah. I am. Ever since I was playing with yours, I'm just like, uh, yeah. oh, please, I must buy you. <laughs> Just a warning, I don't know how much it matters for the look or you, or you or whatever, but my lashes do not hold a curl. That's okay. At all. That's okay. okay. <laughs> I was on, I was doing a, a thing for Kosas and yeah. and the I told the makeup artist that and she was like, no, you'll be fine. And then she like put the mascara on me and she was like, yeah, wow, your lashes literally don't hold a curl. <laughs> and I was like, I <laughs> okay. told you. Yeah. Well, we're going to try Lash Freak. What is that, Urban Decay? Urban Decay Lash okay, cool. I use the one from Refer. Oh, and I like it a lot. Which one is this, though? Kevin. Oh. I was going to say I like it. Yeah. It's a nice shape. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's helpful. Mm -hmm. I usually only use it when I'm like really doing an eye look, you know? Yeah. So let's add some color into the skin. I need a little bit more. You don't want to keep me white as fuck? I mean, it's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use the Hatichia Smith, which is a... I've never heard of, of that. Come to a little German brand, Hatichia Smith Labs, it's called. And one of the prettiest baked gelé yeah. formulas. I love it so much. Makes it so much easier with bronzer when my hair isn't bleached. <laughs> I can only imagine. So, How do you do it? I'm be so careful. I have to like pull my hair back and like hold it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't yeah. get bronzer everywhere. Do you always use your forehead? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a huge forehead, so I would oh try to get it smaller. <laughs> you don't. It's gigantic. I just love this. It's like so buildable. That brush it's feels so like... nice. Oh, Is that Smith? Smith? Fuck. I need all of them. I'm telling you. Dude. You might. I literally do. I will say your SPF, wow. Yeah? Makes a big, makes a big difference in application. For sure. So what's the difference? Like, I see things that are separating, for um, sure. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's fine, but it's like, even yeah. my most like foolproof formula. One of my favorite, favorite blush powder palettes is this one from Pacifica. It's cute. It is so smooth and creamy. Yeah, and this pretty. really subtle tone. So I'm kind of just going to bebop around. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up all of them. I'm going to pick them all up. They're really sheer and buildable. Are these all Smith brushes? This is actually a MAC brush. Oh, okay. This is my kitten ball. I like how long the bristles are. I literally, this is my powder blush brush. I don't use anything else. I feel like this would be good for everything. Yeah. 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 Really any powder that you just want applied, like glazed on the skin. I need all of these brushes. <laughs> And we're keeping it really like a neutral blush with the eyes. We're going to use kind of like a neutral lip that's a little warmer. I mean, I always contour my nose. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go into the lip liner. I'm going to use House Labs. Wow. I literally oh have God. to just slink away. <laughs> literally, and I'm like covered in makeup, so great. Um, House Labs roll, you can turn towards me. Okay, so this is new. This is Danessa Myrick's Dewy Lip and Cheek Palette, and I mixed this light one and this rosy one. <laughs> These are like insanely beautiful blushes and also beautiful lips and they don't move. Mm. They like really don't. So this is going to bump up the look a lot. This is Danessa Kaleidoscope Glaze. Ooh. One of my absolute favorite, favorite eye glosses. Has beautiful glitter in it. But also because we have this waterproof base underneath, it's going to pretty much stay in place. I like to start eye gloss more towards like the inner portion of the eye and then dab it across. It will all start to travel. This is like mm. not going to be a look that you're going to want to wear for a million hours, but 
It is super dope. That looks so sick. <laughs> is there anything else we need to do? I don't know. That's, that's this is your fucking thing, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to like look at this up close. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude, our battery's gonna die. Oh shit, okay. That eye is so sick. I fucking love the shape of that. This is, for some reason, this is a look that I have a really hard time doing. Yeah. Like getting that like angled, like smoky eye. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like it always ends up being like way too low or like way too like high. Up. Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun to watch. Like watch you doing these it things. It was like a mess before it turned into something else. <laughs> That's what makeup is, That's dude. That's what it is, exactly. If you stop halfway through, you're like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was so much fun. Wow. But I kind of want to like, can I zoom in more? Yeah. Oh. All right, everybody. This is the finished look. It's a little bit blown out. I hope that I can fix that in post, but this is everything. Rock star, rock star rock makeup girl, look. Rock, rock star. Rock girl. <laughs> like, oh. I love the colors, like, and the eyes is so sick. Uh, I really wanted to put this red brick with the taupe. It's dope, it's yeah. It's dope. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, pop back in here. Okay, okay, okay. That's it, you guys. What do you think? Let us know in the comments we down below. Do I look like I should be headlining for Metallica? Because I kind of feel like I do. She does. Actually. And I also should. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much my for sure. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Thank Check you. Check so out much. Gabby. I'll so put her sweet. Instagram handle down below, but also keep an eye out for her YouTube channel coming soon. We will soon. be announcing it, so you can find it. And let me know if you want to see like more videos like this, or if you want to see me do Gabby's makeup. I nice told one. her I want it, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye. Bye. Is that like, that's like. My whole face better. is in it. Yeah. You are a little taller than me, though. I am a little taller. Um, let's just try that. Oh, <laughs> how did that happen? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Wait. You did those nails yourself? Fucking crazy, dude. Dude. It looks so sick. <laughs> Them, they really look really cool, them. yeah. Thank you so much. Dude, I've witnessed some makeup artists who shall not be named that I was like, makeup artists, where I was like, oh, this is some fucked up shit, bro. <laughs> like, I, 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 I,